This is XAMPP. We installed it in the last video. Let's zoom in here, like so. Now click here on Admin for MySQL. You come to this screen. This is PHP MyAdmin. Click here on Databases. You come to this screen. Let's create a database. Key in a name for your database, like first. Like so. Then click on Create. You get confirmation that your database was created. A moment later, the confirmation screen goes away. Look here. There is your database. Ta-da! Look on the left side of your screen. There is first. Click on it. You come to this screen. Let's create a table. Let's zoom in here. Like so. Key in a table name. This will be my table name, students. And this will be the number of columns, or fields, three. Click on this button, go. And you come to this screen. Let's zoom in here. Like so. Put the field names here. Put their data types here. And put the field lengths here. Here are the three field names. Student ID, first name, F name, and last name, L name. Here's their data types. Integer, vercare, and vercare. And here's their field lengths, 8, 25, and 25. Go to the bottom and click on Save. And you come here. Now, in the database first, you have a table called Students, right here. And you can see it now. I click on SQL. And I come to this screen. I'll run a query on my database first. I want to see what tables are in my database. So I key in this command, show tables, and click on go. I get this message, your SQL query has been executed successfully. There is the name of my table, students. This was my command, and here are my results. I want to go back to first, so click here. I'm back. Now let's insert a record. We've created a database, we created a table, now let's insert a record. Click on the table, Students, and immediately you see your table structure. You're brought into the area called Structure, automatically. Now I click on Insert, and you come here. We key in our record data here. Let's focus on this area, zoom in on this area. Ah, there we go. Now let's put in values, like so. 20130001, Fred Dotherby. 20130001, Fred Dotherby. Now click here on Go. And here's your feedback. One row inserted. Here's the SQL statement to perform that transaction. Next time we'll key in this command ourselves. We'll do that soon. But for now, this is George Bull saying bye-bye.